four hours into our trip to Jackman, Maine. Are we there yet? Yikes, this is a long drive. We are driving into some heavy rain soon. Here with my friend Greg, who you might remember from our trip to the Adirondacks two years ago. Oh my God, two years ago. So what are you looking forward to this trip, Greg? I'll tell you what I'm not looking forward to. I'm looking forward to big bugs. So hopefully we don't see a lot of bugs. <laughs> Won't be any bugs. Welcome to Jackman. Yeah, the in road. So close. <laughs> We're one mile from the put-in. There'd been some write-ups about uh, this little section not being a right-of-way, although the state of Maine says you can drive through it, but it is locked. So instead, we're right on the edge of the Moose River. In this parking area, and you can see there's a whole bunch of other people. There's a trail that goes down to the river. As long as it's not too swift moving, we have to paddle. We have to paddle upstream. If it's not too swift, we'll be able to make it. Otherwise, we might uh, we might walk that mile down the road. So we'll see. The adventure starts. So I guess the uh, Cisco truck is able to come through here, but not us. This uh, portage down to the river is actually not too bad. So this brings us, uh, the Moose River flows out of Adian Pond. And uh, you usually put in right at Adian Pond and not on the Moose River, but looks like the water is so high that hopefully we'll be able to get up over. It looked like from the satellite imagery there's some rocks and bony areas just before you get into Adian Pond. So hopefully we'll be able to make it over that with the high water. And uh, looks like the water's moving a little bit, but with the Winona and a couple of strong pairs of arms, we should be able to get through okay. So as I was unloading the car, a 18-wheeler uh, <laughs> came out from that uh, road closed sign. And uh, it was a Cisco truck. There's a there's a lodge out on a out on a uh, island out in the pond, uh, Adian Lodge, and uh, so he must have been making a delivery. And uh, so I asked the Cisco driver, you know, is this road usually closed? He said usually just in the spring, but uh, this season, being such a high water season, I guess the the parking is right on the on the pond, and uh, it can wash out or or go underwater. So when it's when there's threat of high water, which <laughs> As we look around here, you can see the water is going to get higher. They close the road so that uh, cars, I guess, don't get uh, under the water. Yeah, so this walk here isn't too bad. It's a uh, little bit muddy. We've already carried some of our gear down. The, uh, yeah, you can see the water's high. This is the direction we're going up. So we're going up towards Adian Pond and up around that bend is supposedly where the bony water is. It doesn't look like it's moving too much, so hopefully we'll be able to paddle upstream. We should be able to. Oh, yeah, right from the start. It's an adventure. <laughs> oh, we do it. Let's do it. Shall we do it? Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo All right, there is Addian Landing. 
and the water is, I guess it's high. I don't know, never been here. Oh, there's a pile of cars here though. I guess they all have the, uh, <laughs> they must all have the combination, huh? There's a lot of cars there. A lot of boats. The paddle up here was nothing. Took us maybe 15 minutes. The current wasn't bad. And that's where we're heading. That's Addy and Pond out there. We're gonna go right or west for four and three quarters miles to the uh, Holeb Pond Portage. And there, and there is a loon visiting the landing. It is raining. Yeah, why don't you throw a line in? Native uh, brook trout. Wind is picking up. So we gotta do it? Right, we're gonna move it. Alright, we're gonna carry over to the other side. 1.2 miles. The best part of the portage at the start of the route is that you get to carry all of your food. <laughs> Yikes. No, I just wonder if we should bring more. No, this is probably enough stuff, isn't it? All right, let's do it, man. Okay. Yikes. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, did I gain some weight? It was a mess. Hmm. Yeah, it's like all washed away. Mm -hmm. Crossing an old wood road. We're about uh, 20 minutes into the walk. It is still pouring. The forecast said it was probably supposed to stop around 5 o'clock or so today. So hopefully that's the case. I think we still have a couple of hours until then. How you doing, man? Good. We're being very careful with our steps. Man, I know. Those, uh, those boardwalks look very slippery. Looks like it's used. Oh yeah. Where does this go? Well, Canada to Canada. Canada to Canada. So it starts in like New Brunswick, cuts yeah. across Maine. And then ends up in Quebec. Ends up in Quebec. Yep. The answer to the question, are we almost there? Or are we there yet? Are we there yet? And? This is like two thirds, three quarters. And? Of course, we left the map back at the lake. Oh, geez, did we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I so we did 1.2 miles, dropped off our backpacks. Hopefully we never have to do that again. And uh, we're walking 1.2 back to Adian Pond. Carry the canoe and a little bit of miscellaneous gear and life jackets and paddles and carry it back. There was a big group there at this campsite here on the lake on Hola Pond. It's like nine people. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna want to stick around with nine people. We'll we'll play it by ear. When we get back, if it's still raining, we may just keep powering on. And there's a whole bunch of campsites on Holib Pond, so we may continue west on Holib Pond and grab another site where we maybe can get a picnic table. Because that group that was there grabbed all three picnic tables to themselves. It's kind of a drag. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Back to the canoe, still here. 
the rain has stopped. There's a loon out there. The water's calmed back down. Wow. I gotta say, that's the, uh, that's the longest mile I've ever walked. So now I gotta throw the canoe on, try to get over those crazy boardwalks. Very slippery. Right. One more mile. I think the decision is we're going to get to Hola Pond and uh, continue paddling and not stay at a campsite with uh, 15, 13 year old girls. The only difficult part of this trail is these uh, very slippery boards that are going through the swampy land. But otherwise it's nice and wide and uh, the canoe's not hitting anything. It's not much of a climb. I think it's only a hundred feet of elevation. So the first time we came up here, we got to this intersection. Left said Portage Trail and right showed the uh, railroad tracks. On our walk back, we thought we'd try the railroad tracks because we followed the Portage Trail on the way. And I don't think a lot of people take it because uh, that section was a bit overgrown. And uh, so we walked back in the rail on the railroad bed, and it was uh, a lot easier. <laughs> so fortunately, we figured that out before we grabbed a canoe. And uh, we'll take the railroad tracks instead of the trail. It's like a, I don't know, an eighth of a mile or so. And, uh, it is an active railroad. So uh, hopefully, we don't. Uh, See anything, although if we do, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Holub Pond. Let's go and find ourselves a campsite. All right, I think we found our spot. Beach straight ahead. It's getting late. I'm getting hungry. It's been a long day. Old Beach 2. Oh, you made it, Greg. Oh, Yay. There's, a great fire pit. there's picnic tables. Ooh, there's like a thing for the tarp over one of the tables. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my God, this is spectacular. Holy moly. So this was a pretty good day. That was awesome. These uh, you're looking mighty fine. These things, these nets. Yeah. Epic yeah. buy. N n n no lack of uh, skeets out here. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the mosquitoes are crazy. I mean, look at you. Just look at the the clouds in the sky. The, the ground is soaked. It just rained today like crazy. But it's not raining now, which is great. We have a really nice site. We're gonna just quickly set up our hammocks and uh, make up some dinner. It's about seven o'clock, maybe a little after seven. And hopefully it doesn't rain tonight. Tomorrow, we are heading into the Moose River, heading down past a couple of rapids. Not sure if we'll be able to go through them or not. The water is real high, so it might've wash them out. We might be able to take our, our Kevlar boat through it. The plan is to at least get to Holeb Falls, camp there, or continue on. Um, we went a lot further today. We're at the end of Holeb Pond, so we went quite a bit further than we had planned to. What's wrong? It didn't get stirred? I think I put a little too much water in. Oh. Actually, no. Just give it a few more minutes. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be a bit soupy. Soupy. All 
on the menu. Peace. Starbucks coffee. Starbucks instant coffee. You don't have to buy it in the little pouches anymore. It comes a little tin. Piece of sausage. Which is handy for home and safari. <laughs> and then we have good to go from Kittery. Oatmeal. Six dollars and fifty cents. Oh. <laughs> Holub Pond now. We're at Holub Beach Site 2. We're going to head southwest to the mouth of the Moose River. Moose River is windy, 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 windy. Water's high. We've got a couple of rapids to either run or portage around. I'm sure I'll say portage. I'm sure you'll say run. Traverse. Traverse. The plan is to stay at Holib Falls. But uh, it's only 6.30 in the morning, so we may get way past that. <laughs> and the water may be moving fast since it's so high. Who knows? Yeah. Should be fun. It's going to be fun. All right. While we're getting ready to go, I thought I'd show you our setup here. So it's kind of the cockpit. Maps here. And I got this cool granite gear. It's like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a glove compartment. Glove Dashboard, compartment. you even call it. Dashboard, glove compartment. Oh, cool. And what I keep in there is uh, all my food for the day, my first aid kit. I've got my water filtration, sunglasses, my 100% uh, deep bug dope hand sanitizer yeah kind of all the things that I might need on the trail during the day it works out well and then over on the other side I'm strapped to it I've got this uh, this Yeti bag that I bought to attach to my cooler but it uh, watertight I've got all my camera gear and extra batteries and everything in there and I just kind of strap that on with velcro in the back yeah, our bags are set up like this. Greg has his high-tech um, dry bag going on there. And this seems to be, uh, seems to be pretty stable. We've just entered the mouth of the moose. Here we go. Looks good, water is high. Greg is powering us. I can already feel the power of the current. All of that hiking we did yesterday, the elevation gain. <laughs> it was kind of cool. We do a uh, mile and a half of hiking, get ourselves up 100 feet, and then three days of taking advantage of it. Look at how rusty this thing is. Yeah. Holy cow. That's the stuff that they feed the wood tire with. Right. Oh, that's hanging off it. The wood tie, it's not the seal. It's just yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's operational anymore. I'm giving you some footage there, Tim. How do you like that one? Or would you like this one? I'll give you some more nice. footage. I'll give you two footage. Nice. All right. There'll definitely be music in this section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at our turn off. Into the little, the left hand turn into the side stream which leads for a half mile to the portage. There is a sign here, it's kind of hidden. You can see it up there. It does point left. And uh, yeah, and then up here, we're gonna take a right. hard right. All right. And then it's like a half mile up here, according to the directions, it says there's a couple of small drops, so hopefully they are drops that Greg and I are prepared to make. And the portage trail is off on the left. So just before the takeout, there's a log jam. There's a, like a kind of a muddy spot there you can take out. There are some steps here. 
it's high water, so I'm guessing there's usually a bit of a sandbank. There's a sign up there. And then I guess this is the trail, huh? This is it. This is let's the go garage. this way. All right, let's do this one more time. This is the Holub Falls Portage. Not sure how long it is. I think it's less than half a mile. There's a uh, campsite along here called the Log Jam Campsite. It's just a little ways up here. We've already carried our backpacks up to the Holub Falls Trail. We'll drop the canoe there and I think we'll uh, head down the trail with our lunch. It's about noon. Have lunch at the falls. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, the uh, sun is out, which is nice, although it's making it hot uh, mosquitoes are still nasty but as long as as long as we're moving they seem to be okay so uh, it's only noon we've done seven or eight or nine miles or so our plan was to stay here but uh, I think we may continue on there's a couple more sites just past the falls and that's a long way. This is the put in after the after the portage at the bottom of Holub Falls. Back into the moose. Alright. Mosquito rips. Oh, we can just port it right over here, huh? And here it is. Yeah. Definitely not going down that. Right here, and then just put in right there. That's right, so you got mine, sorry. We made it to Spencer Rips. We're the only ones here. No one's really caught up with us. Set up the tarp. Supposed to get some rain tonight and tomorrow morning. That's kind of a drag. And uh, this is also a portage route we put in over there. We're on the left bank of the river as you're coming down the river. And then the portage route goes down that trail. So that's just around the other side of the, uh, of the rapids. We've got a little setup over here. Greg is relaxing before we set up camp. And take a look at Spencer Rips.
can kind of see it through there. If we knew what we were doing, we could go through there. And if we had a canoe that wasn't made of Kevlar and would poke a hole. Three o'clock or so, we are wiped. I'm wiped anyway. I'm looking forward to reading a spy novel tonight. So that's the plan. Morning, Greg. Morning. How'd you sleep? Oh, not so bad. Rained a little bit last night, but uh, it's dry this morning, so loving it. What's the plan? Well, at some point we will pack camp. Have breakfast, probably not in that order. And then uh, make our way down the river. Got a couple uh, portages on before we hit the lake. And then um, we see what the lake looks like. And if it looks good, we'll make our way over to the landing. Yeah. We, are, we left our vehicle. Otherwise, we may pay stay another night. We'll sort of play it by ear. Play it by ear. I feel a little breeze now. So we'll see what the lake's like. It's clear, so it probably means a northwest wind, which is not good for where we are on the lake. But... Uh, yeah, we're way ahead of schedule. So, sure. thought the night wouldn't be so bad. Either way. Stay out of this. This. Uh... You've got to push us that way anyway. All right, we're good. A little bit of a breeze up in the top of the trees. We just might uh, make it onto the lake. There's a little cabin here on the right. Two cabins. So this is the end of Spencer Rips Road, and apparently. You can't get here anymore. It's washed out within, I don't know how many years. So I don't know how these people get here. Maybe they take an ATV or something. Cool places. Portage, first on first one on the left. We were looking for a campsite. It was supposed to be on the right. We never saw it, and suddenly we started hearing the waterfalls ahead. So we went a little further than the, 
than we thought. So we are here. So this one's a real short one. We'll go scout it out first. Is it nice? That's good. We got a couple of canoes here. Interesting. Huh. All right, here's one of the Adian Falls campsites. Needle covered path. And rushing water to the right. This is just spectacular. How the heck can we get this lucky to be able to enjoy this? Wow! So here's the put-in at the first portage, and I think if you look far there in the center, there's another campsite over there, and I think uh, the river goes hard left around that rock. And we're going to take a right for the second portage around the lower falls. We'll take a look at the map, see if that's the case before we uh, hop out in there. All right, there's the first drop of Adian Falls. Heading over to that campsite there for the takeout or somewhere near it. Try to bite yet. that pool to your right. To my right when you're ready. Forward how? And there's the bond with the second falls. Adian falls lower. Goodbye Moose River. Hello Adian Pond. Wind's blowing. Doesn't seem too bad, does it? Up the shore. Yeah. We go that way, right? No, we're going kind of north. That's a yeah. That that's a cove in there. That's where the campsite is in there, over to the right. All right. This is. Probably the broadest section from the direction the wind's coming. This isn't too bad, it's not white caps, so. No white caps. Good for us. Once we start getting inside these islands up here. Good on us. Good on us. Nicely done. Well, we did it. We planned for five days. We we booked five days. We thought we'd do it in four days. And we ended up doing it in three days. We had that rain right at the start. It didn't rain when we were setting up that first night. And then the weather was perfect after that. Yesterday was a little warm, but sunny, not bad. We got rain last night. But it was dry when we woke up, so we'll put our gear away all dry. Drizzling a little, little bit now at the takeout, but really lucked out. So 32 miles, three days. It was a lot of fun. Really the only wild card is this put in. If the water's not high, I don't think it can happen. But uh yeah, because with that road closed, you can't get to the actual Addy and landing. Unless you have a code to get through the gate. So yeah, great trip. Great trip.
So Greg has been having a problem with packing lightly. So fortunately, he, uh, you know, he brought a, a lamp. So first, you know, we have one lamp and then the next lamp. But look at it. Look at that thing. It's like he's going to perform surgery or something and the battery pack on it. Ah, oh, so much to teach him. Ha, ha, ha.